Hey guys, Altered State here. Welcome back to Uncharted 4. Last set stop. We were trying to figure out what happened to the thieves of Libertalia. And we are on top of this tower and it's beautiful out there, but now we gotta go to a city full of mansions. How long you figure it'll take us to get the new Devon? A uh, couple new hours? New Devon. Depends on what or who we bump into along the way. Wow, well, okay, well that answers that. Oh, shit! RPG. You're right! Windows. Ah! windows. They sure do. Down there. I'm up here. Oh, you weren't there. <laughs> you weren't where I thought you were. Okay, but not in the fire. You gotta be more clear next time. Something tells me they've had enough of us. Really? What gives you that idea? Down here. Don't wait, just I'm go. coming. Ooh. Hey, we're going downstairs after all, after I looked down there before, Nathan. Ms. Lack. Nathan! How we get. Get up, brother. We gotta go. We gotta go! Now! Oh, oh. The whole tower's collapsing, and now we're sliding again. This is just insane. Sam! Come on, up here! Climb up the rope down here! Climb up the rope? Okay. Can I just shoot them from here? Yeah. I'm trying. Oh, I'm out of ammo? Shit. Oh, I'm completely out of ammo now. Okay. Of course, the RPG guy is the one that's left. RPG guys. No. What? I'm past her. What? How did that? Work out. <laughs> That's funny. He had like the momentum and everything too. Um, Sam! Come on, up here! Climb up the rope! I can't. I freaking murder yo. I think there's a trophy for killing a certain amount of people while hanging from a rope, so. Maybe I just keep redoing this part over and over again. Until I get the right amount. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Why did that go so much terribly that time? So much more terribly. I can work, it's good. Dogs love playing. Who? Oh, you. Can't get him. Oh shit. Okay, now I'm out of ammo. Well, moving on. Please don't kill me anymore. We'll see if we can actually jump where we're supposed to instead <laughs> it was funny because like I still had the forward momentum like I was completing the jump and then he just missed so he just jumped straight into the cliff over there I got Looney Tunes carrying okay it worked that time I need more ammo Thanks. I ran out oh, good. this is nuts Run! I'm running, I'm running. Okay. Don't stop believing. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> just 
I think these guys really are sick of us. They're literally throwing everything at us. Grenades, RPGs, tons of guys with bullets. And here. I'm fine. Kick his ass. Hey, Sam, kick his shit. Oh, God. <laughs> This right, is let's try this again. insane. Ah, oh, nice and quiet now. So peaceful. Up here in the mountains. Ah, nice. Uh, okay. Back out into the crazy place. Oh, it's you again. Okay, wait, wait. Hey Nadine, great to see you again. Ah, okay, Mango, Mango. What do you Is that want the about? safe word? Oh, it's my safe word. Mm. Oh, of course. Are you always this clever? It's normally a pineapple. I have my moments. Yes. You and your brother have proven yourselves the more capable treasure hunters on the island. Mm -hmm. Shame we're not on the same side. Yeah. Hey, there's, there's still time. Trust a drink. You'd rather trust a wraith? Hey, hey, just, just let's talk about it. Yeah, now there's two drakes. Yeah, now there's one drake. Oh, that's convenient. Okay, gonna that was a fight again? Bit rougher than expected. A fist of cuffs? Just, uh, see myself out. After everything. You think I'm just going to let you walk away? Oh, are we gonna fight together? That'd be the wise thing to do. Oh, come on, Nadine, really? I know you're a badass and all, but there's two of us. I don't think my men are on their way here right now. All I have to do is buy some time. Okay, well. What if I don't finish it myself? You're gonna finish both of us? Damn it. Got quite the stamina, though. I can't. Aren't you supposed to be able to press B or uh, circle to dodge whatever PlayStation controls are? I know you don't. Crab Magars. Talk about this bitch! Oh my god! My little drink! Why does this always happen? I'm coming, little brother. I mean, big brother. I'm the little brother. Um. What? Why? Why am I. Oh. Come around the outside. Around the outside. How am I just ascending like that? <laughs> I have a grappling. Oh, oh, on. They did it! Yeah! Uh -oh. Crawl for the gun. You're fast. Not that fast. Hey, forget about her. Hmm. Come on, we gotta get out of here before they. Shit. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Sam. Everybody just. Ray, just calm Ray's down. Here. I don't have any guns anymore. Well, this is interesting. Nate. Samuel. Put your guns down. All of you. No. Rafe, this guy's on edge. Oh, don't worry no. about him, Nadine. These guys don't kill anyone in cold blood. It's just not their style. You wanted to bet her life on that? Go ahead, then. Shoot her. Sam. Yeah. See, Nadine, die, you, you should be on our side. So be it. Not another step! You mean... like this? Sam, put the gun down. I warned you. Do it! Rafe! It's done! Hold your fire! Don't shoot! Put it down. It's done. Okay? It's done. Don't worry, Nadine. It's not their style. I say, I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Gambled on your life and I lost, I guess. Don't lock you, though. 
Samuel. You okay? Punch him in the face. I guess you knew this moment was coming, huh? Kick him in the nuts. Hey! No, not that on, way. Man. I meant the other way around. You already got us. Take it easy. Come on, now you're businessman. Let's just, let's work out a deal. Oh, a deal? Oh, yeah. Love to hear what you have in mind. <coughs> oh, you can go ahead. I'm listening. I just. I... You want to find Avery's treasure? We'll help you find it. And in exchange, I let you live? Yeah. That and a small cut. <laughs> the gout shows on this guy. Just enough to get him his freedom, okay? His freedom? Oh, yeah, you don't know, right? Yeah. He did hard time, our time. And the guy who broke him out, Hector Alcazar, he owes him a lot of money. Whoa. What the hell are you talking about, Nate? Hector Alcazar died in a shootout in Argentina like six months ago. What? I'm the one that got Samuel out. What? Oh. Uh -oh. Wow. What did he tell you? Sam, what kind of story did you cook up? Alcazar? Really? You lied? Lie to your baby brother. We're wasting time. Just a second. Thing mm. is, Nate, I never stopped looking for Avery's treasure. I just kept running into these dead ends. <laughs> and then I hear that our dear old Samuel Drake, an authority on Avery, is alive and somewhat well. Mm. There was no breakout. I bribed the prison warden, and your brother, he just waltzed right out the front gate. He spent the last two years tracking down a second St. Dismas Cross. You know two what? years? He did it all with me. Oh. Oh, yeah? No, that's bullshit. Oh. Sam, care to refute? Nate. Oh, Sam. Jesus, no. No. Listen, Avery's treasure was ours. It was always ours. I left my light for you! Hey, look, look, Nate, if it's any consolation, he duped me too. He pulled a Houdini on me, he brought you and that old man back into the mix. And I cannot lie, Sam, that really pissed me off. But, <clears throat> all behind us now. You don't. <coughs> <coughs> you do? Last I checked, we're all a bunch of thieves digging around where we shouldn't. Rafe? Yeah, what? but you guys use explosives. One way or another, end it. Or I will. Well, you heard the lady. Hey, you missed one clue. And you can kiss that treasure goodbye. You said it yourself. Keep running into dead ends. Hmm. Why don't you face it, Rafe? You need us. Yeah, you're right. You're half right. I just need Sam. Wait, now you're making a mistake. Don't, you don't, don't listen. Ah! Oh. 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 oh shit. And Sam got shot again, but he seemed okay. Ow. That's a big open wound. Dirty oh. water. Nate. Elena. Hey. Nate! How'd you find me? I thought she went home. Well, there it is. What the hell lives here anyway? Our little Sam mm, and Nate no idea. But this is definitely the address. Been scoping the place out for the past few days. No one's home. Here we are. Whoa. Now I'm in chapter 16. <laughs> the brothers. Drake. Yeah, we start by finding a way in. Let's go this way instead. And then we can take the grand tour. Nope, there's nothing over there. Never mind. Let's not go that way. You think this place has an alarm? Let's try and find a way in that doesn't involve breaking the window. Mm. Ooh. 
kind of chilly all of a sudden. It's the ghost. You want your jacket back? It's probably the ghost hanging out here. Just gotta keep moving. This way? All right. Let's look around back, huh? Is that around back? Wait, what's around front? I feel like I was supposed to go this way first, and they'll be like, ah, no way in, and let's go try around back, but I'm just, I'm skipping steps. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where? Open window, probably over here in this fountain, huh? Jeez. Where's the open window, huh? What do you think a place like this costs? <laughs> At least, like, ten. Thought for sure there'd be some treasures over here. Okay. Can I do the find ally thing? It doesn't work. We haven't learned that ability yet. Not until we're older. Okay. But he said let's try around back, and then he said look at open windows. So I'm guessing we do still have to go this way. Let's go! Well, he was speaking really loudly. If so, if there's anyone home, they probably heard him. If I heard him all the way over there in the front of the house. Huh. <laughs> I can't do okay. it. I have tiny little legs. Your hand. Uh, there we go. <laughs> all right, there you go. Here, follow me. Okay, okay. Oh. Hey, an open window, just like you said. No screens or anything, I'm just gonna let all the bugs in. Come on, Nathan. I'm trying, I'm in the way. Whoa. Whoa. Spooky. Oh, well, here. I brought a spare. So, nice. are we looking for any particular room? Just keep an eye out for any books, journals, any kind of research papers, you know? I found a box with stuff. Hmm, nothing in here. Not the right kind of stuff, though. Here's a paper. My name is Kenichiro Namba. I recently attended your lecture at the Adventurer's Lodge last week regarding your recent find, the set of Tokugawa era armor you obtained off the coast of Okinawa. Your presentation was utterly fascinating, though I was surprised by the condescending tone of the questions from the audience. I believe recognition and respect for one's work should not be contingent on race or gender. I imagine we have both struggled in that regard. All right, today, because I have come into possession of what I believe to be French jousting armor, though I am not completely certain of the date nor the country of origin. If you have any time to spare, I would appreciate the insight of someone with your expertise. Apologies if this is too forward, but I will only be in the city for another month. In September, I traveled to Iceland to study a Viking burial site, and I would deeply regret missing the opportunity to speak with you further. I am staying at the Lenox if you wish to contact me. I sincerely hope you do the kindest regards. Kenichi Ronamba. Treat. That probably wasn't the thing we're looking for, though, either, was it? This reminds me of my attic when I'm older. Not that I would know what that is like because I am a young boy right now. Which reminds me of the logic that my nephew used once. When he saw me playing Bloodborne. And he comes in, he goes, oh. Nope. I'm really good it's at this not game. Be in this attic. Boxes are filled with old traveling and camping equipment. So I asked my nephew if he wanted to try playing. That'll do. And he goes, oh, no, I just meant I'm good at this game when I'm older. And I was like, damn it, you got me there. Down we go. It's the like law of attraction manifestation thing, right? This reminds me so of my attic when I'm older. That means I will have an attic when I'm older. And it'll be great. She always used that off-white leather binding. Yeah, I know, but it's such a large place. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. I like finding a book and a bunch of boxes. Which is a lesser known idiom that I just made go. up just now. Well, and hey, it. look, we so found I it. I think I found one. For real? I mean, it's got that white old binding you were talking about. No. No. It's not one of mom's. You got the right idea, though. Can you draw a non Keep looking. It's 
how I pick up things and look at them too. I grab them with one hand and then I just flip my entire wrist over like that to see the other side. Gonna get carpal tunnel using your, your limbs hey, like that. Call me crazy, but this looks like a Ming Dynasty vase. Who in their right mind would have a Ming Dynasty vase just sitting around like that? You're right. We yeah. should probably break it. It's probably a knockoff of some kind. Yeah, of course it is. Right? Speaking right. Speaking of knockoff, let's knock it off. I can't. I haven't learned how to punch yet either. I'm still too young. Okay, let's see what's in this back room. Any more needles and haystacks over here? Hmm. How about books and boxes? There's another newt. Dear Eddie, greetings from Peru. I hope my letter arrives safely. There is no post office here, only a small patch of grass serving as a runway and slow boats up the Manu River. I wish you could have seen the howler monkeys yesterday. Bright orange creatures with expressive faces and ample curiosity. I would not describe the noise they make as a howl, however. It's like a hurricane wind mixed with a lion's roar. Were it not illegal and dangerous, I would bring home one for you as a pet. Your mom is busying herself with preparations for tomorrow's excursion into the jungle where we hope to conclude our research. She sends her love. I promise when you are older, we shall bring you on our trips that you might experience the larger world for yourself. Be good for grandmother. Stay hard. And we shall see you in a month. Oh, there's a picture. Was this your house? I didn't flip the other one over. I just hey, assumed it had more writing on the back. These boxes remind you of anything? Needles and haystacks. Every place we ever lived. Oh. Exactly. I remember Dad was always like, why bother unpacking? We're just going to move again in a month. Yep. Hmm. Always the asshole. That sounds miserable, never being able to settle in. Okay. How about this door? Oh, budge. Here, let's do it together. You ready? Push! Push! We got Push! Yeah. What the hell? Is this Ming Dynasty too? It's some sort of sarcophagus. Yeah. Hmm. Look around. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. Or sarcophagi. Sarcophagi. Sam. This is real. How do you know? What is this place? Future museum? Well, let's go find out. <laughs> is this person British? Working for the British Museum. Stealing all the ancient artifacts and keeping them for yourselves. Charging hmm. people money this to come look Roman. at them. Third, maybe fourth century. Hmm. They're pretty intelligible, Nate. Hmm. And you recognize that one? Uh. I, I've seen something like it before. It looks like Mars. Figures. It's Etruscan. Oh. Uh, all these ones. Husband and wife, and buried together. It's kind of dark, in like an awesome sort of way. <laughs> yeah. Dark awesome. This place is like a damn museum. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Think they've got a dinosaur wing? I'm gonna steal something. Can you pick it up? No, it's a plane. Anubis. Organ jars. <laughs> cool. Organ jars. I wonder if there's any organs in it. Well, the organs are pretty big pianos, so I don't know how you'd fit one inside a little jar like that. Maybe it's a model or something. Okay. Are you going downstairs now? Hmm. Oh, I can jump. Found another needle. Here's another one. Let's flip it over. <laughs> ancient Persepolis. I do believe this is an ancient Mesopotamian washer dryer combo. It's really <laughs> hot in here. Let me just fan myself for a second. <sighs> ah, I was a funny one. Always was. Okay. Feel better now. 
breathe. And it's saying Alpha von Young? Huh? Stuck on the pile of laundry. Alright, I'm sure we'll find it in the last place we look. Plan. Hey, Nathan, check me out. Now who am I? Huh? Oh. Dr. Livingston! Come on! <laughs> Hell yeah. Nice. I was gonna say the guy from Jumanji, but that works too. Excuse me. This reminds me of my kitchen when I'm older too. Man, what I wouldn't give to get an invite like this. Adventurer's Lodge, please join us at the Adventurer's Lodge for our annual holiday gala. Uh, open bar, buffet. There's recent expedition in Africa. Anything on the back? It's been a while. I do hope you'll join us this year, Charles. Cool. Hmm. Globe. Oh, so the Earth really is round. So where are we going? Huh? Well, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you pick? Disneyland. Anywhere. anywhere. Okay. Well. Here we go. India. And we'll yeah. visit the Taj Mahal. Again. Round and round she goes. Soviet Union. Let's go to Moscow. Moscow. Yeah, it might be a tad difficult to get in. I always wanted to see the Red Square, though. Hmm. Let's try again. One more time. England. England. Sure would be cool to see Windsor Castle. Right, Sam? <coughs> hey, hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault you weren't born yet. It's not like I remember much of it anyways. Hmm. And it wasn't that cool. Uh-huh. Hmm. Okay, one last spin. Where are we going? Now? Brazil. Hey, Brazil. now you're talking. Hell all yeah. kinds of undiscovered places in the rainforest. And all kinds of undiscovered tribes with poison darts. <sighs> yeah. Hell yeah. That too. I feel like I've been to all those places throughout the games. Hey, check it out. Nice. I'll be Samurai, you'll be a Safari Man. Oh. Roman armor. It looked like a samurai helmet for a second. Wait, can I just keep it on? There. Yeah. We'll both run around with with cool hats. Utility tones. Hey, are you a little young to be looking at that stuff? Whoa. Aren't you a little old to be making that joke? Eh. Can you imagine being the one to actually uncover these things? <laughs> Must be something, right? I'm wearing this helmet, too. Wow. This table is as big as the ones in the orphanage dining hall. I bet the food here was better. Hmm. <laughs> Wouldn't take much. Damn. They must have thrown some great parties in here. Judging by the artifacts, they certainly had enough money for it. Yeah. Looks hmm. like it's been a long time since the last one, though. Oh, got another thing. Ming Dynasty. Oh. Evelyn, it's 9 o'clock on Tuesday morning here, which means it is afternoon in Arabia. I hope you are finding the heat bearable. The Queen of Sheba at least had an entourage accompanying her and her treasure on her journey to Solomon. Thanks to my foolish behavior, you are retracing that journey alone. We always agreed that we should strive to live a life of our own choosing, free of regret and missed opportunities. At the airport, my thoughts were not of the present, but of the future. I simply have a hard time reconciling the world when life we live around the world versus the one we live at home. No matter how intense our disagreement, I should not have cast doubt on your commitment to our family. I deserve your admonishment, and I understand why you left without me. In the spirit of Solomon, we must find a way to seek a compromise. Until then, I wish you the very best of luck. Edmund and I shall be eagerly awaiting your return. Of Ken. Whoops. I was going to try and flip it. Flip it good. But it didn't look like... You're just staring at that corner. Okay, well, let's go into the next room and see what else we can find. Hey, <gasps> check out this crazy demon helmet. 
Is that yeah. a Viking helmet? Come on. You know Viking helmets don't have horns. It's there we Persian. Go. Oh. That's Not right. Bad. Everybody depicts the Vikings as having horned helmets, but they don't. Flintlock rifles? Or they didn't. I wonder if they still work. Flintlock wood. Oh, oh, another box. Is this it? No, that's not a white bound book. Whoa. Hornets of Arabia. Hmm. Always wanted to see that flick. I never got around to it though. Hmm. That's pretty neat. I like how there's just one book per box. It's not like a box with books in it. It's just spread the books out around the entire house by putting one in every single box. Jousting armor. Looks French. Jousting armor. Hey, maybe don't go waving your flashlight around the windows too much. Why not? Or you could just not listen to me. Yeah, I'm not listening. I'm waving it around all of the lights at the same time. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> we can go back upstairs now? Or. I feel like there's still so much to explore. Another thing to read. Oh, wow. My dearest D, my journey you know to Amelia L. Earhart? What? No kidding. Man, they knew Sounds all fantastic. the cool people. Did the Mayans leave anything behind for you? Look forward to hearing more in person upon my return. Yours, E. A. Earhart. Oh, my God. I can't read. Earhart. Another box. Well, another needle. It's another white bound one. Is this it? Did we find it? The Maya civilization. Damn it. Civilization. Journals about everything in the world, but nothing from mom. It's a big mm -hmm. house. Don't give up yet. I'm not. Uh. Ooh, there's the samurai helmet I wanted. You recognize the crest? Uh, hollyhock leaves are, um. Let's see, don't tell me, don't tell me. Uh, there we go. Tokugawa clan. Yeah, Good. right you are. Yeah. Any more bioxes? Why is that window so bright? Okay. I don't think mom's journals are anywhere in here. Let's, uh. Let's check Allow. upstairs. Is that okay? Allowed? What's left of it? Allow the sarcoph sarcophagus to, their stuff. to join its fel no. fellows from like the money. Amenhotep's tomb part with the stuff either. in our museum. I certainly understand your reluctance. You did beat us to the find after all, but your offer is more than generous, and I can assure you it will be treated and displayed with the proper care and respect due to the sarcophagus and the effort undertaken to retrieve it. You have enjoyed its magnificence in your home for years. It is time to share it with the rest of the world. I hope you reconsider my offer. Yours sincerely, Peter K. GR Acquisitions. GR stands for British Museum. This is a good idea. Play some music. There, set the mood. Treasure hunting. Doki checking upstairs. Sam, are you up here already? Did you go through that door? Oh, you're over there. Hey, you were telling me not to shine it by the windows, and there you are just looking out the window with your flashlight on. Hypocrite. There's two rooms up here to check. Hmm, it's locked. There's one room up here to check. Mom's stuff might be in one of these rooms. We gotta find another way in. Okay, they're both locked. We gotta go outside. Should we break a window, just like we said not to do? Hmm. What about that other set of stairs? They're blocked by... Ugh. Boxes and hey. stuff, but the air vent up there, up where, up there. Oh, oh, yeah, 
That could get us into the room below it. Not us. You. What? I, I can't fit in there. Can you handle it? You kidding me? How do I get up there? Can't handle it. All right. Let's see what you got then. What do I got? How do I get up there? I just keep jumping, maybe. I'll build up the muscles in my legs to one day be able to jump high enough to grab the vent and climb in. That's gonna take forever, though. Let's find another way. Hey, check this out. Check what out? Where are you? Over there. I saw a thing to to check out over there. I'm gonna do that real quick. But oh, huh. secret. Ready? Now we're blocking the windows. Oops. Look at the camera. It's a Polaroid. Yeah, let me see. I think it still works. Yeah. Come here. A smile, all right? You look pretty sweet with our hats. <laughs> Don't lose it. Does it actually show us with the, the hats on? Or at least me, because... Yay! <laughs> shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your pole, bud. Shake your pole, bud. Is it... Yeah, yeah, the color's coming in. <gasps> we look so good. I'm just going to keep shaking it. Okay, that's probably good enough. Why are we taking the helmet off now? No, I liked it. Okay, up here. No, hold on. There was another thing to check out over here. I can't. There we go. I didn't go this way before. A dragon gone. There's a whole room over yeah. here. Looks like it's from Southeast Asia. Nice. Nice. Oh, Remember, you're supposed to be climbing up this thing here. You just stay there, Sam. I'm gonna go see what other things we missed over here. See if there's any more needles and haystacks. These. Don't give me a hint. Sundial. Have you been in here? Do you even know what I'm yeah. looking at, Sam? It's crazy. You're just spouting nonsense from over there. Evelyn, I happened across the latest issue of Adventure Life and was both surprised and delighted to see you grace its cover once again. I am pleased to see you looking so happily, still doing what you enjoy. In spite of our separate lives, your accomplishments still bring me no small amounts of pride. Attached is the photo from Edmund's graduation, top of his class. I guess we did something right. Though he would kill me if he knew I told you, I want you to know that Edmund was devastated when you chose to journey to India without him this past summer. He has grown into a capable and self-assured young man. His flashes of insight remind me of you, particularly the look that crosses his face just before the Eureka moment. What's more, he loves and admires you more than I can express. I've had my share of struggles over the years, and I've never asked you for anything. I'm now asking you to take Edmund on your next journey. I know it'll be a challenge, and you might not move if at the pace you're used to, but I promise you this, you'll find joy, the likes of which no one else can provide. Look forward to hearing about your next big find. Keep making all of us proud with warm regards. Ken. <gasps> Ken. Okay. Almost there, Sam. Hold on. We missed this entire room before. Maybe we don't even need to climb in the vent. Maybe maybe Mom's journal is in here. Maybe this is it right here. Hey, they've got your favorite book here. A general history of the robberies and murders of the most notorious pirates. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, I'm ready to climb in the vent now. <gasps> Peacock. Getting some good stretches in there, Sam. Stretching out the calves. Lower back. Don't fall. Tell me what to do. Catch. Oh, no. Didn't even make that much noise. I think the, the music I was playing before was much louder. 
I would not trust hanging on to those. <laughs> this, though, on the other hand, looks perfectly sturdy. That's a smoke detector, right? Not an alarm. Wow, what a fancy vent. There. Uh, that way? This way? Not that way. Okay, not that way. It's very cramped in here. Let's go into the lowest. This one isn't as fancy as the last one, though. But... Alright. Oh. Medical equipment? Okay. I'm in. <sighs> it's locked from this side, too. How can it be locked from both sides? <sighs> Coding. Lots of painkillers. A little bit. Okay, probably lots of things to explore. Oh, I saw one. Going in a zigzag pattern, try and catch everything. There we go. Evelyn, I was hoping I wouldn't have to write this letter. I was hoping our last conversation made my intentions clear. I was hoping that ignoring your repeated attempts to contact me would eventually send the right message. Discovering you sent my daughter a check in the mail means the message was too subtle for someone like you. I don't need your money. And more to the point, I don't want your money. I can take care of my family just fine without your help. It's insulting to both of your, our intelligences to pretend that your hollow gesture would somehow rekindle our relationship. The well, little was left of her bond died the moment you couldn't bother to show up for dad's funeral. Right up to the moment he drew his last breath. He still loved you? I don't. I pray you find peace with whatever it is you've been seeking your entire life, but do not contact me or my family again. Well, well that's sad. That sucks. Peak cure? Why is she looking off to the side, looking all shifty-eyed? I found the key. Okay. Is there even anything in here? Do we even need to let Sam in here? Or maybe we can open this door together once he's in here. Maybe that's the play. So? Anything? Didn't see any journals. Alright, well, we still got the other locked door, so come on. Oh. Oh. I see. The key works for the other door, too. So did they leave the key in there, lock it, like, wow. and close the door behind them, uh, or did they lock the door and then climb through the vents oh, and somehow put the vent cover back on? I, I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> <coughs> did I find it? The nope. a Peter. Tsar Peter, Kayla, St. Peter. The great. Okay. Flashlight's real bright. <gasps> Another needle. <coughs> well, almost lost my headset. <laughs> Viking oh. treasures of Vinland. University of Toronto. Hmm. Is that this one? I don't want to miss anything by accidentally Whoa. finding it before. Oh, I found it. I think. Sam. Well, you got something? Not just one journal, but they actually put more than one in the same box. <sighs> this is it. <laughs> I know I'm sad. Oh, that's the journal we saw in the attic at the beginning. With uh, all the prison stuff when we picked it up and he was like, no. Which is a paradise? You get to see what this is now. Evelyn bought a first edition of A General History of the Pirates from a collector. Along with a stack of 18th century documents, among them I found a very intriguing letter from one Joseph Burns, 
who not only admits to being a crewman on Henry Avery's ship, but possibly hints at Avery's vast treasure. What else could riches of paradise refer to? The treasures within? I don't know. I feel like it's a metaphor. If he sent this letter from prison, he clearly didn't have the treasure with him, so where is it? You need to trace it back to the source, Henry Avery's attack on the Gunsway. Picture, caption, Joseph Burns, map, caption, last known sighting, note above letter. What are these markings? Turns. Whoa. Henry Avery. Gunsway heist. Can you read more? You won't let me. Okay. But yeah, we saw this in the attic and oh, what do you got there? Older Nate's house at the beginning of the game. I've never seen this one. Yeah, me either. But that you know, that's definitely mom's handwriting. Put up your hands. Slowly. Have you hey, been in here the whole time? No need for that. What is he holding? Hey, hey, you keep your gun on me. Give me my journal. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Well, obviously Sorry, we Evan. keep it because it's in the attic in the future. Something happened to let's just get it back. So what now? Now we wait. <sighs> For the police. Yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that headache. Stop. I mean, the hassle of ruining two kids' lives, that's... I really don't want to shoot you. Come on, lady. It was no harm, no foul, all right? We all must face the consequences for our actions. Hmm. And at least let him go. I brought him down here so he could see our mom's stuff. That's it. He had nothing to do with this. What? I'm telling you that this is all on me. No. Your mom. Your mother's stuff. Yeah, that, that journal. It was our mom's. Oh, shit. You're Cassandra Morgan's voice. Uh... Hi. My God. <coughs> I could have shot you. Yeah, you're still nice, so, uh, do you mind? Mm. <sighs> you knew her mom? She worked for me. Hmm. As I'm sure you've noticed. I'm a collector of sorts. <laughs> nah, that's sort of an understatement. You're so, Evelyn? Mom was like your translator? All the notes I was reading? Your mother was the most brilliant historian I have ever met. Huh. We could have accomplished so much together. But then her illness. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Happened a long time ago. Of all her discoveries, this would have been her crowning achievement. Mm. Sick harvest magna. Greatness from small beginnings. That's the Sir Francis Drake's motto. That's the ring that we have. Yeah, Latin and historical figures. <laughs> Those were our dinner conversations. We were a, a weird family. Did she ever tell you her theories regarding Sir Francis Drake and his heirs? Uh, Sir Francis us. Drake didn't have any heirs. Yeah. That's what history tells us. But your mother and I believed otherwise. That's why we have the last name, Drake. Learning that old pirate secrets is just one more adventure I have to let go. I guess there's a lot I have to let go. <laughs> Forgive me. Ramblings of an old woman. as much yours as it is mine. Who knows? Perhaps one day you'll be able to finish what she started. 
the police are here. Uh, yeah, so, uh, we're off the hook, right? I'll handle the police. You found your way in. I trust you can see yourself out. Hmm? Yeah. Uh. <sighs> Thank you. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> all right, come on, Nathan. Let's go. We mixed up all of your helmets from all your armor <laughs> pieces, too. You might have to deal with that. Are you okay? We're good. Ah, we got oh, it. It's fine. Hey. 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 Stan? Well, who's going to handle the police now? Oh, me. You all right? <clears throat> Wait, we have to do something. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. Can't just leave her here. There's nothing we can do for her. All right, we have to run. If the cops find us here, then this. Ma'am? Nathan! We gotta go. Right now. The cops will better help. More than we can. They can call them paramedics. She's gonna be fine. Oh, oh shit. Maybe. Window! Window! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> You check up there. You come with me. Police cops. Right. Wait up. <clears throat> can I jump that far? I sure can. Back from the guys inside, they were, they've been jump. in for like two seconds. The chimney. Come on. Come in. You're gonna take a cop car and go for a joyride? Took you guys long enough. We're here, are we? What do you got? Where'd you go? Oh. The front gate looks clear. Frankie. Don't think so. Got it. Go slow. Okay. Go slow. Uh, uh, oh, I bet they heard right. that. You there, don't move. Run for it. This way. We can lose them. Can we? Can we lose them? Freeze, God damn it. I'm just going to follow your lead. I'm sure you know where we're going. Up the stairs. Go, go, go. Ow, my ankle. I'm fine. Thanks, brother. Come on, go. Let's go back inside. They'll never expect that. There's plenty of sheets in there. We can grab one, throw them over our heads, and pretend we're ghosts, and maybe they'll get scared and run away. Bye, Sam. Did I actually fail? Oh, I think I did. I think I went the wrong way. Okay, try again. This way. I'm coming. Run! Shit! The ball thing! The dumpster! Come on! Okay. Get out of the way! Yeah, we are. That's okay. We'll end up in prison in the future. Don't worry. On the bike now. Come on. All right, hold on tight. Escape. I'd say we're clear. But we catch our breath for a second. Yeah. Still feel bad about the old lady, though. Some night, huh? Some night. That old lady. Hey. Hey, you listen to me. That wasn't our fault back there. 
I mean, that lady, she... She was, um... Sick. I mean, it's okay to feel bad. But there was nothing we could do about it. So what are we gonna do now? I can't go back to the orphanage. You can't go back to your job. Then we don't. We'll be on the run. Sure. No, I'm serious. We get as far away from this place as we possibly can. Yeah? And how long till the cops find us? Well, I think <clears> they'll <throat> be looking for Nathan and Samuel Morgan. Yeah, that's us. Oh, so we change our names? What if it wasn't? Nathan, back at that mansion, you knew just as much about that stuff as that poor old lady. Here. I always felt that we were destined for something great. But until tonight, I didn't know what that meant. But this, Mom's unfinished work, this is our chance to restart our lives. This is how with it brand new identities. What are you talking about? I know some guys. Pretty good at forging papers, too. Now, as for our new name... Mom believed that Sir Francis Drake had heirs. I used to say he didn't. <sighs> That's us now. You're serious, aren't you? Nathan, we were meant for this. And I promise, you and me, together, we're gonna go far. What do you say? Nathan Drake? Yeah. Well, the Captain Morgan was pretty cool, too. We changed but... after that. You know, we became explorers, adventurers, mostly thieves. Ow. Okay, just hold still. You know, for a while, it felt like. If we weren't taking turns going to jail, it was because we were in jail together. And after I lost him, I, after I thought I lost him. I, you didn't want to bring him back up again. Hmm. Something like that. That's it. It's still, I still want to know how she found us. With you, I doubt that that's everything. I got to play with the but lemur. I probably didn't tell you that. It's a lot. No. I'd love to know what you're thinking. I'm thinking that you're lucky that I found you when I did. Yeah, yeah and how? I'm glad you didn't lose a limb or anything. You tracking It would have been a royal pain getting you out of here. Huh. How did you uh, find me anyway? Yeah. Oh, you know, easy. Just follow <coughs> the sound of gunfire. I guess that makes sense. Well, I mean, sense. how did you get here? Sully? Oh, of course. <laughs> Come in, Sully. Mm. Hey, darling. How's he doing? Oh, you know, he's banged up, but he's alive, par for the course. Now we just need to rescue the other Drake. What do you mean? I'll let Nate tell you. Sam betrayed hey, us. Glad you could join us. Sort of. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it. So what happened to Sam? Rafe's got him. Shit. You know where they are? Uh, yeah, they're headed to the northern side of the island. See if you can find a place to set down over there. Once we get Sam, we're gonna need to get out of here pretty quick. Copy that. Hey, hey, what about the treasure? Forget it. We don't need it. But Alcazar? No, there is no Alcazar. It's all bullshit. Well... Wait, you mean... the dip, the... The escape? Yeah, Sam made it all up. What an asshole, right? Hmm. Look, I'll fill you in on everything when I see you, okay? Yeah, I can't wait. Look, you two be safe down there. All right. You know us. JJ. Yay, I got a gun back. Thanks. 
Okay. Sure. No, I mean, thanks for saving me. For Again. more ways than one. I almost didn't this time. Understandable. It's kind of an asshole. Right. Come on. I got us a ride. All right. Well, this is a good place so, to take a break before they start talking too much. So we're going to end here. But uh, dang, we're getting close to the end of the game. Can't believe Sam betrayed us. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like this video, comment on it, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like it. And I will see you all soon. Bye.